Hi, I'm the Book Tart, and I want to tell you about a fantastic steampunk novel I read. And I'm all steampunked up here in my hat and corset. I need more steampunk gear. I really want goggles, some super cool goggles. Um, the heroine in this book wears some. So I'm going to tell you about Tarnished by Karina Cooper. It's the first novel in the St. Croix Chronicles. And I just reread it because the sequel, Gilded, is out now. And I wanted to tell you about it. If you like steampunk or fantasy or has a bit of romance, a bit of horror, adventure, mystery, a heroine who's flawed and damaged, but she's a survivor and she's someone you can root for, um, you're going to want to try Tarnished. Okay, so Cherry is the heroine, and I found her a unique heroine in that she's, she's she has a really traumatic past, and to survive that, um, she takes opium. She's an addict, and she knows that, and she uh, lost her family to fire when she was a child, and then she became an orphan, and she spent many years of her childhood in a basically a street gang where she was given opium as reward she was a pickpocket she was an acrobat and contortionist so um and then she was rescued and you know brought back to her guardian who she rarely sees she doesn't really have a family she's alone she has her servants and her house and she's a proper victorian miss during the day but to um, she doesn't have control of her finances yet, and so to survive, um, to keep her nightmares at bay, to have money for her opium, and also because she's extremely independent and she, she likes adventure, <laughs> she doesn't want to sit at home and think about fashion, um, she has become a collector. And this London society in this world, the steampunk is, like I said, it's so cool. They, uh, to get away from the smog and the factory smoke, the um, polite society who had money um, jacked up London on stilts. So high society is high and low society is low down in the murk below the drift. And she descends below the drift at nighttime wearing pants and a special um, reinforced corset and she has tools and she descends and she collects bounties. She takes people back to whoever's hired her to do that. And she doesn't get children and she doesn't kill. Other than that though, she'll cosh somebody over the head and drag them drag back. <laughs> and then she gets paid. Um, and then sometimes she has to get all dressed up and go to a fancy ball and be quiet and proper. So she's trying to balance her two worlds. And uh, I liked Cherry a lot. I love her name. I mean, I'm the book tart. I love cherries. How could I not like her? So the adventure starts when she says she turned in, well, she did. She turned in her bounty, left him where she was supposed to, and she doesn't get paid for it. They say he wasn't there. So she starts investigating, and there's um, women from the adult playground, the menagerie, who are being murdered. So there's horror and mystery elements there. And she starts investigating that as well and gets in maybe a bit over her head. Um, and there's somebody who's, who's stalking her. And it's intense. And there's, there's some chemistry with two different guys. One's Lord Compton, part of her polite world. And the other is Hawk. And he's the... Uh, the manager of the menagerie, and I liked him. He doesn't want her investigating the murders. He wants her to stay out of it. Um, and yet there's some of his actions that, that are very protective. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see where that goes. I wanna go ahead and read to you a bit from this book. Um, <laughs> let's see. Ah, here it is. Okay, so this is when she's with Lord Compton, and they are going to a, a exhibit. Compton's features tightened. Disapproval. Certainly this is no fit topic for a lady. 
I resisted the urge to kick him, barely. Lowering my hands, I said with some asperity, and what would you have me consider, my lord? The state of flowers at the height of autumn? Perhaps the nature of my wardrobe, when fashions come so quickly and fades as easily. I watched him look up at the banner again. Then at Fanny, who trailed more than a few steps behind us, though it was only the illusion of privacy. She would hear every word and was, in fact, watching me now, with a warning in the set line of her mouth. I put my hands on my corseted hips and asked baldly, Would you prefer me deaf and dumb, my lord, or perhaps stupid and meek? He looked at me, then meeting my eyes. His own were wary, but his mouth quirked at one corner, the same as it had during our scandalous dance. Never stupid, he avowed, although perhaps Mrs. Fortescue would prefer meek on occasion. My smile was slow, but I felt it curve at my mouth, reach my eyes, fill me with a quiet, insidious warmth. On many occasions, I admitted, my lord, despite all appearances, I am my father's daughter. It is not magic or will for ignorance that will assure our place in this world, but science. And science is not always, I trailed off, searching for the right word. Proper, he supplied. With more understanding than I expected from the eldest son of a mar marchioness, or expected, I offered. Much like you, Miss St. Croix. My heart skipped a beat. Me? So Cherry is a heroine I was rooting for. I liked that she wasn't perfect. She's damaged, and she's a survivor. And I'm so excited about Gilded. I highly recommend you pick up Tarnished and give it a try by Karina Cooper. Thanks from the book tart.